How are you doing folks? It's Joe Value here for Cold Bear Sports on Tuesday evening with four selections for tomorrow. Uh, I don't I very much we'll get to four and up again, but uh, we'll give it a crack. <clears throat> if excuse me, I think I have a bit of a cold on me as well. Uh, they will throw it in bits. So uh, I'll kick on, make it snappy. Oh, I'll just touch on today first. Um, but the forecast obviously didn't work out. Relates uh, to Mars got beaten actually. I'm surprised with that. But um, and then the other lad, pale blue dot. Uh, he uh, he's not much good over hurdles anyway. Maybe he might improve a bit over fences. Uh, where because he did have good point to point form and his bumper form was very good as well. But he just looked uh, as slow as a boat there today and. Uh, It'd be hard to know he wouldn't be too interested in moving forward. I thought he was value, uh, you know, at fourteen to one or whatever he was last night in, in one one uh, with one form, and then he was eight to one generally. Uh, but he's just very very slow and uh, do well to uh, win any sort of a race. But I think over hurdles and what he showed today, maybe he's better than that. But it doesn't really bother me. Uh, I'll move on to uh, today or tomorrow even. Now. <sighs> taking prices of on short price favorites overnight uh doesn't work in the long run it might work out for your in your favor sometimes but and generally it doesn't you know so i'm going to suggest uh kind of a fun acume here but it's just more to to show uh, probably a lot of people know this that are watching this video but i'm going to show uh a lot of people that don't know uh that um taking prices as i said on short price favorites overnight is madness uh, because not only they're not guaranteed a price, prices are put in very short to start with the night before. And also you're open to a rule four then as well. If there's a non runner or something like that, uh, that could um, just destroy your bet, you know. So you're you're better off waiting for the you know, the the morning the morning after when the guaranteed prices uh, do come through if you're betting if you're doing a small acume now us on this channel myself and paddy we don't bother with the short price horses too much at all but just as an as an example and this uh you know these horses probably shouldn't really win but uh at the price they are at the moment i think uh they don't represent much value and i think they'll be better tomorrow win lose or draw so we'll kick off with the one o'clock of punches town horse by the name of born in victory obviously won the triumph hurdle that got sheen threw away there a few years ago has been second in the Cesarowicz to uh, a horse called Buzz, who's obviously a very good horse, injured now at the moment, unfortunately. And uh, she ran well when she was third last time out behind Classical Dream at Leopardstown. Uh, but she's back against her own sex tomorrow, and I expect she'll win. But she's only 11 to 10. I think people will want to take her on because, uh, you know, she, she, you know, she's short enough price to start with, and it's not a bad race, so... 11 to 10 to me looks skimpy enough and I think she might be a bit better. So we'll go SP, Burning Victory, Burn Victory, 1 o'clock, Punchestown. So the second was Punchestown, non-binding, put in at 6 to 4. Like, uh, I think that's short. I do think it'll win. And I know Gordon Elliott thinks a lot of it. He thought it would win the Land Rover bumper at uh, Punchestown last year, but it did disappoint. Uh, should nearly take care of these tomorrow. But again, like it's a big, massive big field and... You've been asked to take one and a half to one, you know, about a horse that has bombed out in the past, but there's no doubt has ability uh, and has enough ability to win this type of race. And then my final selection to, to uh, yeah, no, my second last selection, sorry, uh, the 205 Punches Town uh, Ramalis or Ramillies. Uh, this has a decent horse, but again, he's a bit of a weak finisher uh, sometimes. And you've been asked to take four to six about this or something like that, or eight to thirteen. It's madness. Like, and if you obviously, as I was explaining, if you take the price, and there's no runners in the morning because of the heavy ground, which is a distinct possibility. Uh, not only are you stuck with the price, but you'll get done for the rule four as well. Uh, so, uh, yeah, SP on him as well. He should win. Uh, he's he is. Uh, I know Mullins did like him in his bumper days. He thought he actually he'd be Kilcrot one day in, in Leperson, but. Patrick picked the right one. Patrick picked the crush. And the last horse of the Acume is in the last race at Ludlow. A horse by the name of Pulling Stumps. Trained by Philip Hobbs. Nice horse. Steps up and trip. Should win. Again, he's too short. 11 to 8 to be taking that price. You'd be hoping he ends up a bit better. So he's the last one of the 
um, speculative Euro uh, win at Hume. You know, I probably one or two of them might get chinned. Uh, I don't think tomorrow's uh, them races in particular are not races to be getting uh, madly stuck into. I don't think they're all should win, but they're you know the they might be a little bit vulnerable. I do fancy one strong at Punchestown uh, tomorrow, which I'm keeping for the service, and um, I know uh, there's another one there in England that. Uh, should be getting it done as well, which will be on the service as well. So we're very busy tomorrow. But this is a kind of a you now I don't want to sound like a school teacher here. This is an education, but it's just something I've noticed. You know that you know when she is, you want to be you want to be mad to be taking them short price short prices on them favorites overnight because uh, as I say, very rarely works. So it'll be interesting if they do all win uh, to see what way uh, it works out. I can almost guarantee you that if you just went SP the whole bet, that um you'd be much better off than taking the prices. So that's it. Now, obviously, if you fancy a 10 to 1 shot or a 14 to 1 shot that you know it's going to end up a single figure price, then you take your price the night before. But uh, the majority of the time, short price, don't be taking the price overnight. It would be my advice. But look, okay. different strokes for different folks. Anyway, talk to you tomorrow. Joe Value for Cold Beer Sports. Bet safe and enjoy the sport. Keep following. Thanks a million. Winners on the way. Please God, all the best.